What's going on, everybody? Tom Quiet here, live and amplified. I hope you all having an absolutely amazing day. We are back with another music video critique. Sorry, it's been a little bit. Been trying to work out some scheduling stuff and figure out a good pacing for these videos. But have no fear. We are back with another music video critiques. Um, today, we are taking a look at the music video for Call It by Chloe Styler. Uh, so let's jump right into it. All right, here we go. Cool, cool. Old skill flume look. Nice. Time moves slowly. I can't even breathe. Hmm. It's so clear. Not sure how I feel about the jumping back and forth to the four by three to sixteen by nine. Not sure how I feel about that. Like, for me, it's like, use it, like, in theory, I don't mind it, but if you're going to switch back and forth to the 14 by 3, or not 14 by, the 4 by 3, um, make it pers purposeful, make it have a meaning, make it do something. I think by just blindly jumping back and forth, it kind of just gets mixed and it looks, looks weird. Okay. See, like, all these 4 by 3 shots, I think if they were just, like, cinematic cutaway shots of something else, this music video would be really cool pacing and make a whole lot of sense. I do kind of like the 70s aesthetic behind it, though. That is kind of cool. I almost feel like they started editing this music video before they finished shooting it. And once they realized that they were didn't have what they needed to do the four by three, they were just kind of like, you know what, screw it. Yeah, because see, this is almost borderline a performance video. It's not, but, you know, it, it's borderline getting that vibe. Yeah, see, now it's just all starting to get a little repetitive. Hmm. See, I really like the vibe and the aesthetic and what they were going for, but I think if they were using these 4x3 shots as more of a flashback cinematic deal... I think that would be the way to go. Um, and then the music video would have been paced pretty good and made a little bit more sense. Whereas just kind of using the same shots but putting them in a different aspect ratio, it was just kind of like, mm, whatever. But that being said, um, I will give this video a 
7.1. I, I like the framework of it. I just wanted to see more shots. Like, it was really well shot. I just wanted to see different types of shots. And the 4x3 aspect w- would have been cool had it been more of a flashback um, cinematic shots type stuff. Uh, but, yeah, 7.1. That's where we're going to sit. See you guys later.